Right, so you guys know that I got um, my course results back for my French third level course and I failed my dissertation. I haven't been too great mental health wise, as you guys know. My hair is so frizzy. And um, so basically I failed my dissertation and they said, oh yeah, you just have to resubmit the dissertation. So that's what I was going to do. And today I thought, oh, well, I, you know, I kind of had like a mind blowout sort of feeling and today I thought that I would sit down and work out exactly what I need to do and blah blah blah. Anyway, I got an email in my university email inbox saying that I've been signed up for a speaking exam as well. But I actually passed the speaking exam. So I'm going to give them a ring tomorrow and see if I actually have to take the speaking exam as well. Um, I must say that it has like knocked me for six mental health wise. Today I feel really awful. I don't know what to do, um, so I've just spent the last hour or so looking at other modules to do because I really cannot face this French module. I've, I've worked so hard for this degree and I'm feeling now that I should have done this ages ago, I should have had the bravery to do this ages ago and say, do you know what, I'm not doing too well with this particular subject, let's change to a different subject. So now I'm going to look at doing an open degree with the Open University and see if I can just do two level three courses or maybe even just the one and see if I can pick my grades up but I'll see what they say tomorrow good morning guys so I come down to the uh, local outdoor gym so I was just trying some things out and this one I found really difficult because of my arm injury it's parallel bars um, I found this one quite easy this is the ski stepper thing and this is another ski type one um, so most things I found okay um, this one I struggled with as well because you were like pulling the bars down and it lifts your weight. Um, I found that quite difficult with my arm injury. But I'm hopeful that I'll get there because this one, where you're pushing your weight away from you, I found okay. Um, so I tried to do, I, my phone's really low on battery, so I tried to do like 100 Mississippis on each one. Um, not all of them I managed, but I'm hopeful that I will manage in the future to do a bit more. And it seems quite dead out here. I came, I got up at six. Okay, I was a little bit, I had a bit of a snooze. Um, five minutes, because I was like, I don't want to get up. But then I thought to myself, I'm just prolonging the problems by not getting up. So I just got up, even though I felt rubbish. And now I feel fine. I am dehydrated. But when I get home, I'll, um, I had a glass of water before I came out. And when I get home, I'll have a nice big glass of water and then some breakfast. But I think actually going to the gym really helps. And also there's a Pokemon gym here. And I beat it. <laughs> so it's now my magma in this gym. Um, I'm just going to check while I've been in here that no one's messed that up. Because I've seen a couple of people walking past with uh, their phones out as if they're playing Pokemon Go. So yeah. I'll um, see you guys later, see how I get on. <laughs> My arms are actually aching really bad now. <laughs> it's uh, Tuesday morning. This is a nice place to sit. One of my favourite places to sit, actually. So this is out on the South Downs Country Park. Uh, National Park Country Park, I don't know what the difference is to be honest. Um, so I asked for another week of sick leave for my doctor today mainly because i'm still kind of getting to grips with the new medication i had that massive wobble at the weekend with my uni stuff and you know i'm just feeling kind of glum there is hope though i do have hope and you know i've been trying to do things to make myself feel better it's not like i've been sat indoors you know feeling sorry for myself which i'm fully entitled to do having depression but um, like yesterday I went into Brighton and I spent the whole day in Brighton, you know, enjoying myself. I didn't put my headphones in. I think we can be really complacent in this day and age of just like listening to music again and blocking the world out. And I just kind of think that sometimes we need to experience the world. Uh, so yesterday I went round, I was playing Pokemon Go. I got quite a few new Pokemon that I didn't have. Today I'm focusing on hatching my Pokemon eggs. Um, so yeah, I've walked out here, hopefully I'll get a bit of walking done today. I already went to the gym this morning as I showed you guys, and 
going to the gym and back was already half of my daily steps so I am hopeful that if I carry on going to the gym every morning that my daily steps would be greatly increased and also um, the fact that I went to the gym in the morning I've had this sense of achievement and that's something that is really really important to me like I quite often feel that I'm not achieving anything and I feel that you know having a little bit of achievement in the day just kind of raises my spirits just enough to get me through the day and at least get me started like I didn't want to get up but I did get up and I went out and about and that's the thing like one of the things that I feel is that a lot of people think that depression causes you to be lazy and I've never been a lazy person in all my life in fact I work too hard and I don't relax that's my problem is I don't relax I can hold my hands up and say that but yeah if I want to come away from the world and I don't want to be locked in I just come out here it's nice and quiet there's hardly anyone around you get the occasional dog walker but that's about it that makes it sound like a dogging spot <laughs> um it's not I hope I really hope um but yeah I I'm feeling a little bit more positive I've got a few things to do today um I need to phone work at some point and say that I've got another week and then I'll go back for a couple of days and I go on my holiday and the doctor did agree that that's probably a good idea because it gives me a couple of days to get back into things and then see how I'm going and then, you know, have the holiday which will give me a break properly. Um, yeah, so that's life at the minute. I've still got a really swollen face. Really annoying. Stop being swollen, Mr. Face. Hi everyone. Um, it's Wednesday afternoon. I'm a messy creator as you can see so I have to clean the entire house and I need to get it done so I'm just going to get it done this evening. I'm currently watching Harry Potter, Philosopher's Stone, I'm just about, well I'm about to start tidying but I'm having a cup of tea and some toast with golden syrup on it because I'm a freak and I like golden syrup on toast so uh, yeah. Um, yeah so I'm a messy creator so I just need to clear all the shit up behind myself and I will get back to you with how long it actually took me to clean the entire house from top to bottom. So basically guys it took me about three hours to clean the entire house from top to bottom and I'm now currently watching The Chamber of Secrets so I watched the whole of um, Philosopher's Stone now I'm watching Chamber of Secrets and I'm also doing a little bit of editing right here. What are you doing? I'm abseiling on your hair. No, 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 no,